Good evening, this is Sierra Rodriguez with WVUD News. Governor Jack Markell has announced his support for a resolution that condemns and apologizes for slavery. On the 150th anniversary of the 13th Amendment, Governor, Governor Jack Markell visited the congregation at the Bethel AME Church. He has joined alongside House Representatives in support of a resolution that says Delaware denounces slavery. In Philadelphia, the district attorney is announcing a new program that allows certain nonviolent felony defendants to become students instead of inmates. District Attorney Seth Williams states that Future Forward is a year-long program aimed at avoiding a criminal record while earning up to 24 college credits. Candidates must have a high school diploma or GED, no more than one prior nonviolent misdemeanor, and no outstanding warrants. Williams' office has per partnered with Community College of Philadelphia and ShopRite Supermarkets to help with funding of the future program. In national news, a judge has appointed a mental health expert to evaluate the man charged with killing two college students in Virginia. The expert will be paid $350 an hour to examine Jesse Jun Matthew Jr. before his trial in 2014 murder of the 18-year-old University of Virginia student Hannah Graham. Matthew is scheduled for a jury trial in July. If convicted, he he could face the death penalty. Matthew is also charged with first-degree murder in the 2009 death of 20-year-old Virginia Tech student Morgan Harrington, who vanished while attending a Metallica concert at UVA. Prosecutors are not seeking the death penalty in that case. Justin, Russian news agency says three women have been injured by an explosion at a bus stop in downtown Moscow. Moscow police said an unidentified explosive device went off late Monday at the bus stop on Pavroka Street, just over one mile from Red Square. No further details were given out about the explosion, but Russian news agencies confirmed two women were hospitalized with leg injuries, and the third injured woman refused to be hospitalized. There was no immediate indication of an extremist connection. In sports, University of Delaware junior women's soccer standout Natalie Zelenki has been selected in to attend the NSCAA Division I Women's All-Mid-Atlantic Region Team. She was amongst 15 student athletes from Colonial Athletics Association schools recognized. Her 19 career goals are the most by any active UD athlete, and she is ranked number nine all-time in UD history. The Philadelphia Eagles surprised everyone with a win over the New England Patriots 35-28 at Gillette Stadium last night. With an impressive performance on the field by the defense and special teams, the Philadelphia Eagles were able to score 21 points. Sam Bradford, with only 121 passing yards, still had a pair of touchdowns to Zach Ertz and Jordan Matthews, also leading the team to a great victory. Checking your weather at this hour. In Newark, Delaware, the temperature is currently at 52 degrees. Tonight, the temperature will drop to a low of 32. Tomorrow, December 8th, the weather forecast is going to be at a high of 50 degrees and mostly sunny with a few clouds here and there throughout the day. For the rest of the week, we are to expect some sun, cloudy skies, and a chance of precipitation. And finally, don't forget to catch the highly anticipated night on Showtime. The Victoria's Secret Fashion Show sets stage tomorrow night on CBS at 10 p.m. Musical guests include Selena Gomez, Ellie Goulding, and The Weeknd. Also, newest VS Angel, Kendall Jenner, will take stage alongside her best friend Gigi Hadid in New York City. With WVUD News, I'm Sierra Rodriguez.